Speaking of Joshua, his fight against Oleksandr Usyk officially yes. on it. Hooray. September 25th at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which, you know, 65,000 in London. Yeah, they're going to sell out 25th. every seat. That's going to be 65,000 yeah. to sell out. And unless anything crazy regarding Kobe, COVID right, in the right. UK, and we all know how, you know, unpredictable yeah. it is over there, especially when it comes to boxing stuff. But right now, expectancy is 65,000 at in London which will be a massive massive crowd be i believe the second biggest crowd for a sporting event in the uk uh since the pandemic with the first one being the euro yeah. championship yeah. final yeah with the with the yes. almost chaotic riot that broke out afterwards yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, finally that fight got announced a lot of fights were actually announced this um Actually, today, within the last 12 hours of recording, so uh, I'm going to go through them because a lot. Do your thing, baby. Okay. September 10 in Tucson on ESPN Plus, Oscar Valdez versus Hobson Kunsen Sao for the WBC Super Featherweight title. Gabe Flores Jr. versus Luis Alberto Lopez is the co-main event. And this is a fight that I think you and I are going to be very interested in. Junto Nakatani versus Angel Acosta for the WBO flyweight title. Yes. It's on the undercard. Yes, yes, great fight. That, great fight. That's a really good fight. That has but fight of the year potential. I love, I love Angel over. Acosta. Come on, Angel. Come on. <laughs> it's gonna be a very, very big fight. On the undercard also, Sandra Saez, Raymond Morataya, Lindolfo Delgado, who's making his top ranked debut, Rene Tejas Giron, and Omar Aguilar. No opponent. When is, for when any is of Ali's them. grandson making his debut? Didn't he sign with top rank? Yeah, uh, he's fighting, I believe, next month. Okay. I believe next month. And on the Golden Boy side, they announced the trilogy fight between Roger Gutierrez and Rene Alvarado for Gutierrez's WBA belt at 130. That's going to be the co-main event to the Virgil Ortiz Mean Machine Cavaliowski's The Zone card on August 14. And then you got on the under, also on the undercard, Felix Alvarado versus Eric Lopez hey, for the IBF Light Fight fans. Title. Whenever the Alvarado brothers are fighting, they must see television. These are two of the most exciting fighters around. And Felix has become an excellent fighter. So, yes, that's another great man. You got a lot of great boxing coming up, man. I'm not done. I'm I know, not done. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> the, and the, uh, by the way, you know your card is great when this is your fourth fight from the top. Pablo Cesar Cano versus Daniel Lito Sorrilla, a excellent that's, junior that's going to be a fight. war yes Zorija is a very good up and coming prospect Kano famously knocked out uh, um, got blanket on the name uh, Jorge Linares yeah, yeah. at Madison yep. Square Garden in one yep, round the first round and then you also got Alex Martin versus John Sica Ruiz, Leonardo Baez versus Hector Valdez Alex Rincon versus Sandy Duverson and George Rincon versus TBA and I believe that it's all the notable fights that were announced. By the way, uh, I am not. I am looking forward to and not looking forward to August 14 in boxing because you have a Golden Boy card. You have, I believe, I think you have a, um, I think you have a the the Matchroom Fight Camp Week Three right. as well. Then you also got. Pacquiao versus Spence, and I feel like I'm forgetting a card, but that just goes to show how many boxing cards are there uh, that I literally am trying to think of a uh, of what other cards out there. There's a lot of boxing coming up, and it's weird that this weekend there's really no notable. Well, you have the show box card was... and Joe Joyce. You got some boxing, no, but yeah. but on yeah. but on. But I mean on Saturday, Saturday in primetime in the U.S. Well, because there, everybody had gotten out the way for Fury versus Wilder 3, which... Well. Yeah, Matchroom Fight Camp was originally supposed to start. Um, oh, right! John Real Castaneda versus Guillermo Rigondeaux. That's also going to be on August 14. Wait, that's and... on the Pacquiao Spence card, right? No, no, no. I, I misspoke. I misspoke. Uh, August 14th is not okay. the Pacquiao. August uh, 21st is the is the Pacquiao Spence. Card. Yes, yes, yes. I misspoke. I misspoke. So, uh, Casimora versus Rigondeaux. What else is on that card? 
It's so actually, yeah. Now that I think about it, this is the first show we do since that card was actually mm-hmm. announced. So it's so it's Casimiro vs. Ringing Down, which was the original fight that was announced uh, a, a couple of months ago. Gary Antonio Russell versus Emmanuel Rodriguez. That's a good fight. That's, that's a, a real fight. That's a, that's a crossroads fight. Rodriguez has everything on the line in this fight because if he loses, he's just a gatekeeper. And Rodriguez is a very good fight, a great test for Russell. This will prove to us if he's on the same level as his other two brothers. And Rasheed Warren versus Damian Vasquez is your opener, which is a, a nice, potentially nice little fight. And Warren's career Nothing. is on the line because he's had a few losses the last few years, and he's very close to becoming a gatekeeper as well. Yeah. Um, all right. I forgot. There, yeah. There, one, uh, again, uh, Pacquiao Spence, obviously not August 14th, but I did forget. There is another there is another fight card uh, on August 14th. Joshua Frank over it's Andrew Maloney. Yes. The trilogy fight. Damn. Talk about a stacked day. Shoot. That's four fight That's cards. Too many calls. Potentially three of them in. The same time. Uh, well, yeah. Well, actually. Mm, Matchroom will be early in the, the day. Because right? that's English. I, That'll be early. Matchroom's going to be early in the day. I don't know if the. I don't know if the Mimishin Kavaliowskis card is going to be in prime t- <sighs> well i have no idea i don't think they've even decided because here's the problem if you do it in the afternoon you're going to have to head with matchroom fight camp but if you do it in the couldn't they put, couldn't in, they put in the could, in prime time you're going to put one of those those on the zone cards on friday shit i have no idea yeah i get it. you got four fight cards that could potentially three of them could potentially overlap at the same time that's ridiculous that's, that's ridiculous that's not no. great that's not, not you've got great friday that. saturday and sunday and everybody wants to fight on saturday come on yeah i don't really i i really don't care and i don't even know if there's a ufc show on august 14 well, which they probably do have one <laughs> yeah so yeah if not, I don't think it's, if not, you see Bellator is probably around. Somebody got. Oh wait, no, no, actually, no, they don't have it. Okay, they do not have a. a UFC does not have anything on August fourteenth. Shock! It's when. Right. 